we kick off this Memorial Day weekend, tens of millions of Americans are hitting the road and hitting the beach. We've got an early morning shot there of Rockaway Beach in New York City. But in the south central U.S., a very different picture. You're looking at drone video of a lake overflowing its banks as the entire region, home to 20 million Americans, braces for major flooding. We've got a map this morning. We're looking at severe weather for the next few days, promising to bring flash flooding, hail, and maybe even tornadoes in some spots. Rob, we'll have your forecast in just a minute. But first, let's go to Philip Mena, who is in one of the hardest hit spots, Wichita Falls, Texas. Philip, good morning. Dan, good morning. Just yesterday, this was an access road onto a highway there. And this morning, it's part of the Wichita River. And with more rainfall expected this weekend, we could see flooding like this in much of the plains. In Missouri, this massive sinkhole opening up in the middle of a golf course after rounds of flooding rains, the hole a stunning 80 feet wide, 35 feet deep. You can see some of the, uh, the tension cracks out there. Probably those walls will cave off sometime this weekend. The area in the bullseye again today. Record rain throughout Texas and Oklahoma wreaking havoc this Memorial Day weekend. In rain-starved Wichita Falls, residents here now seeing more rain than they can handle. We've been praying for rain. We have enough water to last us over 10 years now. Nearly 14 inches have fallen there already this month, making it the wettest on record. Drivers in Corpus Christi forging through flooded streets. This van didn't make it. I just assumed it wasn't that deep. In Lake Worth, outside of Dallas, many holiday plans now canceled after this popular lake flooded. And north of Houston, buildings becoming islands, gushing water proving too much for this levee, forcing evacuations. I don't know if it's going to come in a tidal wave or if it's just going to kind of roam in. I, I don't know. I don't know. So I guess we're just going to buckle down together and play it by ear. And with the rain we're expecting in this region this weekend, the National Weather Service now saying this river can reach up to 25 feet before it crests tomorrow morning. Paula? They're bracing for the worst. Philip, thank you. And the flash flooding and severe threat is expected to last through the holiday weekend. Rob's tracking it all. Rob, you were just saying quite a contrast to conditions just a few weeks ago. Yeah, they were in extreme drought. Now they're in this flood emergency situation. And that river, the Wichita uh, River, is going to be at its highest crest on record already the month the wettest month on record. And we're going to see another four, maybe five, or even six inches more of rain. Look at this map. The flash flood watches for nearly the entire state of Texas and Oklahoma and stretching back up and through Missouri. We could see here from Houston up to Dallas and Oklahoma City could see three to four, maybe four plus inches of rainfall on top of what they've already seen. And you couple in the severe weather threat today and then pushing that a little bit further to the east. Big cities like Houston and Dallas are right in the mix. We'll talk more about this throughout the hour. Dan? Another busy weather weekend for you, Rob. Thank you.